watching Notes and Nine. Hello, and welcome to Notes and Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 177, Bootstrap Pager Styles for X Pages. Paging, Dr. Jardin, your Miller Lite is waiting. All right, uh, just a couple uh, quick things on Notes and Nine. Um, I'm probably going to change my hosting providers. Uh, currently, I use uh, Libsyn.com and, and YouTube Secondary, and I'm going to go to um, YouTube exclusively. Uh, and that's that's primarily just to save hosting costs because uh, hosting videos is, is not free uh, the way I've been doing it, and I just want to save uh, uh, some money uh, every month. So I'm planning on moving to YouTube only, uh, and that's uh, kind of kind of ticks me off. But that's going to break iTunes and RSS feeds, um, so you're not going to be able to um, uh, use iTunes anymore. Uh, is the plan? Um, there are several ways to download. If you, I know a lot of people do like the offline viewing, um, so there are several ways. To to download from YouTube, and I haven't done them yet, but if you do a Google on it, there's all sorts of links on how to do it, I guess. Um, so I'm going to try that, and and and, and I, I believe that's going to work out fairly well for you if, if you do need that. Um, but again, RSS is going to go away. Uh, if you do know a way to create an RSS feed from YouTube, uh, let me know. Uh, I mean, there's still be an RSS feed for the... Um, for the blog, I guess, um, but I'm not sure if the video is going to be able to be included in that. I'm not quite sure how that works yet, quite honestly, so uh, maybe it will. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, okay, so today's show, uh, John Jarding, uh, uh, an extraordinary, uh, talented IBM champion, comes back on. We haven't seen him in a while because he's actually been busy uh, working, I assume. But he is a tremendous asset in mobile development. Um, he's done a lot with Accelerator, with Bootstrap, with XPages. Uh, he's in the South uh, Africa region, I believe. And he's uh, an expert at training and mentoring. If, if you need help, uh, you would do well to give him a call. Um, and today what he's going to do is he's going to talk about how to just style the X pages pager to make it look nicer and, and use the bootstrap styling. And, and what he does is he has a couple snippets to help you on um, uh, OpenNTF. You do not need the extension library. You do not need the bootstrap resources. He's basically pulled out the needed CSS uh, that you can just paste into your app and then get the uh, nicer looking pager. Um, for for free basically for no dependencies, which is really kind of a cool idea, and, um, and I'm I'm glad to to see him uh, publish this video on that, um, that you can actually do the styling without you know relying on you know the whole big bootstrap project or anything like that. So with that being said, let's go to the demo. Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I'm John Jardine from Ukavuma, and today I'm going to show you how to take a standard pager. Uh, control in X pages and reskin it so that it looks like a Twitter Bootstrap pagination uh, component. If I go to the Twitter Bootstrap site, which is getbootstrap.com, and you go to the component section, there will be a pagination uh, heading, and here is where you'll see an example of how Twitter Bootstrap sets up their paging. And we're going to be using the the second one here at the bottom that's got the blue highlighted in the background. If I can just take us to a before and after example, you'll see over here, I've got an X page, which I'm calling a, a standard uh, final page. And you'll see it just uses a very standard uh, pager control for this view panel that's been displayed. Uh, I'm, I'm making use of partial refresh. Everything is as one would normally see it. But if I go to the second X page of mine, this is the same pager control, but just been reskinned using the Twitter bootstrap uh, styling. And you'll see now we've got the highlighting, we've got a little bit of hover effects over there. And when we click on the different sections, um, it, it, uh, yeah, it just uses a Twitter bootstrap style that, that, that I feel is much neater than the standard one. Um, the reason why I went this way, though, is instead of recreating the pagination control and trying to get it to work with the view panel inside my X pages or even a repeat control, I thought it best to rather use the basic functionality that a pager control gives you and rather spend the time styling it uh, to, to look like something a lot more decent rather than recreate that functionality and, and get the 100% benefit of what a, a bootstrap control would give you. So I, I do think I won in the end. So let's, let's, let's go take a look at the code. All right, so inside my design, I have a paging standard X page, and this looks pretty similar to the standard final page. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this and convert it and convert the pager to, to, to look like Twitter Bootstrap. 
Now, this page is, is connecting, um, we've got a custom control connected to this X page, which is called CC Standard View. And that's all we have we are running inside this X page. So firstly, uh, very important, you don't actually need uh, the Twitter Bootstrap files or the jQuery files in order to apply this style. Uh, what I ended up doing was stripping the style manually from uh, Bootstrap CSS and just putting it into a, a style sheet on my site. So it's completely independent of any Bootstrap resources. Uh, the second thing is there's no themes or anything like that which will which will sort of just prove my point that you could uh, you could get a Bootstrap looking page up and running with almost no third party requirements. Okay, so. If we take a look at our standard view custom control, I've got a view panel and at the bottom I've got a pager that connects to this view panel and does a partial refreshing so that it loops through uh, loops through all the data that's, that's sitting within. I'm currently just using a sample one and if we go to the browser and I just go and copy and paste this, you'll see that there we go. That's that's all I have running at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is show you how we can apply the styling in a very few, very few simple steps. So coming back here to the browser, uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to openntf.org's X snippets, and you can get there by uh, typing in xsnippets.openntf.org. And to quickly find these two snippets that will give you the functionality you're looking for, just change all to snippets and search for Bootstrap. Pager. When I publish my blog post, I'll also have direct links to all of this. Okay, so you'll see that the search result picked up two uh, X page snippets or two, two X snippets. Uh, one is a style sheet and the other one is an X pages XSP um, uh, design. I'm going to open these two in their own windows and we're just going to go through them uh, quickly. So the first one is the pager template and what I've done over here is I've just created a, a mock-up of a pager that you can copy and paste um, and replace the current pager that's been used. So if I say this select to copy to clip, clipboard and go back into my design I'm going to highlight the pager that I'm using over here and you'll see that it's I mean it's not a lot of code but I'm, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to paste the the pager from the X snippet. Just a few quick things here at the at the top of the pager. You'll notice that it comes default with an XP key, which is footer page, and this is in the event that you are using a view panel. Uh, this will already connect um, the, the the pager to the view panel. Obviously, if you're using the likes of a repeat control, you would just remove this line or just modify it accordingly, uh, depending on your environment. The second thing is for view panel one. This is just a default ID that will um, that I've assigned to this. And if you take a look at my um, view panel design, you'll see that its name is actually view view panel test. So I'm going to copy that, go back to my um, pager, and I'm just going to place that inside there. All right. So now we know that it's at least connected to um, our view panel. So everything else is very standard. Um, just by making those few small changes, you, uh, the page is sorted out. All right, so just adding the pager is not good enough. Uh, you'll see that the pager is set up into different components, and you'll notice that the style class is looking for certain styles. Now, we don't have a style sheet for this, so what we need to do is go and create a style sheet connected to this uh, custom control, and these will then pick up the styles that will allow it to look like a, bo uh, a bootstrap control. So if we go back to the X snippet section, we can go to the other one, which is the pager template style sheet. And this is the styles that I stripped out of Twitter Bootstrap so that we could uh, get our pager to look uh, pretty much the same. And what I'm going to do in our design is go into the style sheet section and I'm going to create a new style sheet and I'm going to call it Bootstrap Pager Style. Oh, come on. .css. And I'm going to paste the style from the X snippet, save and close. Nothing else needs to be done over here. The only other thing inside this custom control is we need to go and add that style sheet as a resource. So I'll just select Bootstrap Pager Style, click OK. And let's save, build. And now we can go and preview 
this X page in the browser again. So this is how it looked when it was standard and by just following those simple steps that I did now, if we refresh this, there we go. We've got a bootstrap styled um, pager design. Okay, so I hope this, I hope this will be valuable to everyone um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please feel free to connect with me on Twitter or directly on my blog. Uh, I'd love to hear everyone's input and even suggestions or anything else that you, you might have to add. So until next time, enjoy. And that's the demo. I thank John for coming on. I know he's got a couple more shows lined up that I'm going to be getting out very soon. Uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, here's my information, and I thank you for your time.